In the previous lecture, we dealt with products of different functions. Now let's look at products of similar functions. For exponential functions, multiplying two exponential functions with the same base is the same as adding their exponents. A similar thing happens for division. For trigonometric functions, always remember that you can convert the product to a sum using the factor formula. Let's take a look at this example. You can integrate cosine 8x and cosine 2x separately after using the factor formula. For algebraic functions, the ones that are tricky to integrate are rational functions, polynomials over polynomials, or something like that. We'll cover those in the subsequent lectures. Products of logarithms are unlikely to appear, but what's likely to appear are products inside logarithms. The distributive property of algorithms will be important when integrating functions like ln x cubed. The right-hand side is much easier to integrate. 